Welcome to the Spinner Rack with your hosts, Brian and Junior. Welcome back to issue 12 of the Spinner Rack. This week we'll be discussing Man of Steel. The, uh, I don't want to call it a juggernaut. I guess that we're going to just be saved for Avengers. Anyway, as always, I'm your host, Big B. Brian Adams. Joining You're me right, as always. Drink something. I am okay. I'm choking on a chip. Choking on a what? A chip. Okay, okay we're just making sure. You know, this sure. guy named Chip. <laughs> Well, and we've gone there. And he pays me very well. And we've great. gone there. That was, that was, that's, you know, that's, that's how I roll. As I was saying, I'm Big B. Brian Adams. <laughs> Enjoying me as always. It's my co host. This is Kerry. CC, Kerry, the cameraman for Comics Remix. That's right. Get to know him. He'll be around for a while. And we're discussing The Man of Steel. Ta-da. You know, the whole movie, I wanted that. I was so the, the, the epic, the epic score. Oh, yeah. That was another John one. Williams? Yeah, what's the yeah. thing? It was something I thought was missing was a good score. Now, I feel I should be the moderator here. I, do, do you know, I think, I think, I think... I share both of your views. Right, I think I would actually, you know, Junior, start I, it I out. Share both I, I almost feel like See, his, it, his views are stronger feel, than mine. Right, well, this well, that's is how I felt last week. I, maybe, you know, like I said, I, I mean, uh, for those of you just tuning in, we uh, we did something on Comics Remix where we discussed Man of Steel. Which you'll see in the upcoming weeks. Yeah. And uh, me and me and Brian went at it about uh, our opinions. Uh, I but uh, I am a Superman fan. I have followed his character since I was a young. Um, not so much, you know, knowing every factoid and that kind of thing. But I always like the essence of the character. And what we discussed was uh, our opinions on whether uh, that remained mm-hmm. in in the in the movie. And it was uh, my feeling that I think they really took a wrong turn. Uh, I think they kind of took away the essence of what this character was and represents. See, it's funny because I felt the same way you did before talking to Carrie. Like, this movie was awesome. It was so strong. It's great. And then once he laid pretty much the truth, you know, and he's just like, you kind of question it. Like, really? Well, but I, I think, I, that way too, like I said, you know? I think the, the, the plus side of that, and anyone who's not seen this movie, obviously, go see it. Yeah. And, and your opinions are what they are. That's why movies like this exist. You're going to love it. You're going to hate it. You're going to be indifferent towards it. No, no, no. <laughs> I have not you, had I don't think any you have that. Body come no. in and say, it was okay. I, I've had either straight, uh, strong love or strong hate. I haven't had a, eh, I haven't had no in-betweens. No. Yeah, I think I think this is just one of those movies that, because of the way it was made and everything involved, uh, you're either going to really, really like it and be on board, and this is, hey, this is the reboot for Superman, or you're going to walk away going, yeah, you know what? This is not the direction this this should have gone. So I know we got a lot into like the basic essence of the character, right. but how did you feel about how they handled Krypton? Well, once again, I thought everything was great up to the Superman points. Yeah. I thought they handled the reboot of Krypton great. I think jor is a badass. It was very cool. I liked his appearance as the, um, uh, what is it, the hologram. I, I thought he was honestly the best part of the movie. Uh, I, I like the um, the Kent uh, stuff, you know, down on the farm. I like the kids who I actually, you know, I'm not a fan of kids in movies, but the kids that played a young Superman adapting to the powers, I thought was very well done. Um, Kevin Costner, okay, I thought the mother was fantastic. Diane Lane, she's, I mean, she was she awesome. she nailed it. She's a milf. That I'll admit it, she's a milf. <laughs> Dude, I have loved Diane Lane since like uh, forever. I think she totally nailed it. Like I said, I think the casting was good with the exception of, and once again, have yet to see because Superman, uh, in terms of screen time, the character did not get a lot of screen time, and when it was, it was fight, fight, fight. It, it, was, a, it, was, a, it was a wrestling match. Punch, punch, kick, kick, heat vision. Um, and the, Sounds like a Mortal Kombat combat. Yeah, and, and when you did, when uh, I, once again, I forgot the actor's name. Mar, uh, Henry, Henry Cavill. Cavill. Henry Cavill. When they did give him, actually, speaking parts, it was very limited. Uh, and when he did show any, what I guess you would call acting ability, it, it was, uh, it was some sort of, you know, pathos. It was some sort of, uh, and unfortunately, uh, as we discussed uh, about the Christopher Reeve movies, you know, the, the, the Superman movies, which I loved, uh, he doesn't, he doesn't measure up to that, at least not yet. Maybe in the future, they give him some more chops, but I don't think he pulled off, he pulled off, you know, happy, sad. Uh, anguish, <coughs> anything near those other two movies. I think what, uh, damn, now I don't remember if it was you, Junior, or Sanchez that said it was like an emo Superman. Exactly. And it, it was. He was very... I went into this movie thinking from seeing the scenes of him working on the crabbing boat that they were going to go like a Earth-1 route. I don't know if you read the original Earth-1. 
It's it's pretty good. Who the hell wrote that? J. Michael Straczynski. Straczynski. Oh, fuck. Not yeah. a fan of Straczynski. I don't know if you've read it. Certainly it's, not. He created in Babylon 5. Oh, okay. Which I don't know if you've ever watched Babylon, Babylon 5. Good. Great show. He wrote Spider-Man for a while, and I believe... S- totally screwed that totally up. Totally fucking did a disservice to the character while he was on the book. Um, Earth 1 was good, though. He did, like, it was a different approach. Instead of, you know, Clark going and being a reporter and going straight to Metropolis, it was, I'm going to try doing this, I'm going to try doing this, like he tried out for a professional football team. See, he went to a science lab. I, they did all these different things. There was things. another another series that was like the, where he's kind of wandering. You, you know, he's like in Africa. I can't remember what it was. Birthright. Bro- Superman Birthright. What a, what a fan- drawn by Lenny Francis. Fantastic story, which is, I think, what they were kind of going for in this movie. I think that's a great idea. But... Once again, you don't really. He didn't talk. He didn't. You, you, there was. It was just action scene, action scene. So I don't know whether or not he is a good Superman yet. They haven't, in my opinion, they didn't show it in this movie. It was. It was. I felt like it was a slow burn. Is well, what it was. I, a slow burn that they didn't even finish. That you're going to have to really wait and see when Man of Steel hits. Where they're going to go with it. How did you feel about the religious aspect to it? I didn't even catch it. The religious aspect. I, I mean, think that's something that's being hyped. What, no. Really? When uh, he came down, when he first introduces himself as Superman to uh, the military. And he does the Yeah, pose. he does the Messiah thing. He comes down, and he looks like this big Messiah. And then when they, the camera pans, as if you're the military, and you look up at him, you see his body, but you, they hide his face kind of in the shadow. I didn't even sunlight, catch it. And the sun's behind him, total Jesus Christ. Didn't even catch it. It's a Messiah. Yeah, thing. I didn't catch that. No, you guys didn't see that? I, I wasn't, like I said, to me it was just a shot. I, I wasn't even seeing but it. Yeah, I didn't. I was too busy watching for Wayne Tech stuff. Nice, nice. <laughs> I was like, I'm not gonna miss this. I mean, what what's wrong with that though? No, I, it's I don't Superman know. in kind of a way is very Christ-like, you know, the last son of Krypton sent here to save mankind. Oh, I, like I said, I don't, I have no opinion one way or another other than I didn't catch it. And if, if that's what it was, cool. And if not, then you know, I got to prove it. I'm there. Yeah, totally. Oh, looks like shit though. Oh, that's why I went and saw it in the theater. Oh. Yeah, me and him had this discussion. They, they, they got, they got your money out of this. you anyway. So and okay. he was like, you got to go see it. And, you know, I've got a, a seventh-month-old. And uh, trying to work around our schedule with him and get him to a babysitter to go see me was kind of difficult. So I got a bootleg of it. And I watched the first time I saw the bootleg. And it was all dark and shitty looking. And I talked about it with him. And he was like, you got to go see it. So I made my fiance get up. We got the boy ready. Ran him out to my mom's like 8 o'clock at night. Caught a 9 o'clock showing Wednesday. So I've just I'm now fresh. When, now when you walked out, just the, saw now it. when you walked out of the theater, did you feel yes? Did you were you were you? I mean, I'm really curious. When I walked out, when I got home at one o'clock in the morning, first thing I did was go on Facebook and be like, "I have seen the movie, the I Superman movie. Well, I have you been waiting your for." Your Facebook, uh, your profile picture to the Superman. I did see, and I was like, I, "He liked it." All I saw was that. I was like, "All right, he liked it." See, I and that's what I wanted to feel, and, and unfortunately, I, I walked out of that movie feeling like I, I walked out of a war zone. I mean, with, with just the, the drab tones, and uh, for anyone who hasn't seen the movie... Um, uh, spoiler yeah, Spoiler, spoiler alert. Alert. Count to five. Fucking spoiler Phil. Don't even listen yeah. to this episode if you don't want so spoilers. Count, count to five. It's a little bit too late to say that. Yeah, it is a little bit too late. Yeah. A um, <laughs> lot of damage. A lot of collateral damage. And um, I'm going to bring up a, a, a point. I'm going to get a lot... Or not a point, just a, a comparison. I'm going to get some slack for this, but... Bear with me. It's uh, the only way I could describe it. When I an empty when, chair there, ready oh, to be swung. So. For, 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 for people tuning, for people tuning in, um, I honestly felt like you know it was, it was 9/11 all over again. I watched. Wow. Sorry, those collapsing buildings and and Perry White digging out the reporter. I mean, this was. I mean, this was. You know, it was supposed to be Jimmy Olsen, right? Uh, I had no idea. Okay. They changed the uh, the gender. It's Jenny Olsen. Oh, sorry. Um, you know, them struggling to, with all everything collapsing around them and prying it out, and, and just the devastation of those buildings. Uh, and once again, I mean, they went for realism, and I, I get that. But really, I walked out of that movie going, what the hell did I just watch? You know, and, and this goes back to one of the reasons why I didn't like the movie, too, is just in the movie Superman, not even, and I, once again, I understand the fighting and everything like that. In, in classic Superman, being a fan, Superman keeps the damage to it, you know, takes the fight somewhere else. Mm. Or they, there were scenes in there where they showed a close up of a building falling, and all I was waiting for was Superman to sweep in, you know, a cool effect, and, and the, the character sweeping in, holding the building, pushing it away from the people, something. And instead of just boom, and, you know. Well, maybe, what if that's building towards an emotional sequel? 
where he deals with this. Because well, but, remember, he just put well, the suit once again, on, I'm, he's still I'm, fresh. I'm, he's I'm, a rookie, more yeah, or less. I'm, so, I'm waiting. I this, hope. I hope that's the case. But when it, when you in the context of what everyone's you know the lead up to the, it's a darker Superman. Oh well, yeah. Well, well, you did it. Yeah, you really did. But. Where do you go from here? And if they do do that, okay, maybe I'll enjoy the second one more than this one. I just did not. This to me was not a, a Superman. Just movie. wasn't your Superman. It, it really do you wasn't. Think that let's say they would have went the direction they did back with the Chris Reeve movie, right? Okay, in terms of tone, right? Would something like that hold up today, though, with today's audience well, but, but and all again, the movies? Once we're again, used that's to that's that's you know that's I don't know that six and one half does the other. I think this one was darker than Dark Knight. And Dark Knight had, you know, some dark moments, but you still walked out of that movie. In the movie theater, you heard people cheering the scene. Well, Dark Knight's supposed to be dark. But, but once again, this was darker than Dark Knight. I, I felt, don't think so. I felt, I felt I don't. walking out of this movie, like I said, there wasn't anyone cheering when they walked out. There wasn't anyone cheering in any Maybe of the Maybe your scene. theater. Yeah, and, and, <laughs> but, but once again, that's my experience. That's what I experienced right. when I saw this movie. Maybe it would have been different if you would have went with us at midnight. I, I I don't know. Maybe who knows? I, I just like I said, this was not this was not the Superman that I wanted. This was, was it a raucous crowd at the midnight showing? Yeah, yeah. And it was all positive. Though. Yeah, but that's was everyone was all high? No, but that's it. Was it positive because everyone was hyped for this? <laughs> but if you had gone to a, another show, would it have been what's again? I don't six, know. Who knows? Well, you know what? That's a good example because yes. he went Wednesday. Okay, when you, you know? yeah, when you went, was it? There was no one there. Oh, well, oh okay, there you it go. was like me and it was my, your, your me and my fiance showing. and like six other people. Okay, how did those six other people? Go? It was it was silent, dude. Okay. Like there was no. Yeah, I mean, I was. I the, personally wanted to stand up and be like, "Fuck it!" I mean, I was I was in the theater <laughs> on a Saturday afternoon with it filled up, and people walked out. There wasn't any applause. There was just kind of walking out of this. I, I'll tell and, you this much: my fiance mm-hmm. detests him. She can't stand him. I've tried to get her to watch some of the DCU uh, animated films. Right. If Batman's in it, like a Batman Superman right. movie, she'll watch it. I tried to get her to watch Superman Unbound. I want nothing to do with it. it. I didn't watch it. Uh, it was good. It was, I liked I it. I haven't watched any of those originals since was the they, last they, one I watched was the Batman year one. Oh, you didn't watch Dark Knight Returns? No. That was oh my I was God. holding out. No, I held out on it. Great. I was going to pick up the first one, and then I heard that they were going to make a special edition to the second one mm-hmm. after the release of the second one. So I'm waiting for it, and then I heard they're supposed to bundle them together, and I was like, eh, and I it was just good. forgot about it. I Funny. did what you told me to do. He's like, I was going to buy them, and then he's like, oh, go to go to Target, dude. There's are like, $17.99 yeah. on Blu-ray. So at one point, within a week span, I went and bought it, a regular edition for 15 bucks. Then I saw the special edition at Walmart for seventeen bucks. How they get then it. I went to Target That's and found the Blu-ray it. for seventeen bucks, and then I returned all the others. Just got the Blu-ray. Yeah. And then I didn't watch it until they put the second one out because I wasn't gonna fucking wait. But she loved the portrayal of Superman in that movie. It's a dick. It's a tool. She's like, fuck that guy. But we walked out of that movie, dude, and she has a newfound respect for Superman. She like actually likes the character. She's excited to see the next one. But I really feel like that, like they went definitely darker. But more of a traditional building up the character route, and I think like uh, I, I, I'm really getting pissed off with the the online comparisons to Avengers and Superman, where oh you know the Avengers tried to keep the destruction of the city to a minimum, where Superman didn't do that. Dude, there's a huge fucking machine destroying the fucking shit out of the world with all these crazy fucking Superman powered aliens running around. Well, no, once again, I I get it. It's a lot I, going I, on. I, I would I would have. It wasn't so much that as it, it, it seemed, once again, it goes back to the actor. I think it goes back to just the way it was. You just got this impression that there was nothing, you know, being done to stop Smallville. You know, yeah, there's, I, I would have liked to have seen, for example, that's, you know, when the, the military is coming down on them and, you know, shoot everybody, you know, everything's getting chewed up. I would have liked to have seen, just listen, Superman grabbing one of the, you know, if they're shooting him too, but just going, you know, to stop the damage, grab one of the things, toss it to you know, land it and go, stay out of it. You know, so that's a Superman thing. Let me take care of this. You guys stay out of it. Doesn't make him doesn't make him a wimp, doesn't make it just I got this. Rather than getting smashed through all the buildings, you know, his town is on fire and he it, it just it didn't work for me. It I had a tough time with it. You see how oh, that goes back yeah. to the whole he didn't know. You know yeah, that's that's how I felt about it. I felt like we were getting this whole new... Whereas the original first Superman movie, halfway through it, you got a Superman that had done this shit. 
he was, you know, even though he didn't nearly face the villain of this caliber. He was listening to his dad the whole time. Remember, mm-hmm. his dad, Kevin Costner, was all like, hide it, don't do it, don't do it. Maybe the kid should have died, da, 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 you know, so he's going by what his dad taught him. So if anybody's to blame, it's fucking Kevin Costner. Totally. Yeah, that, he, totally. he made the see, motherfucker stand there and watch yeah. him get sucked up in a tornado and die. Yeah. Like, I got super speed, I can run and grab you real quick right? and come back and nobody know. No, no. I could probably just blow the tornado away and nobody would ever know it was me. No, no. Wait, you can let me go save the fucking dog, but you're not going to come back? Come on. Yeah, it was, you know. I, I still enjoyed it for what it was. I liked it, man. I did. I'm open to, to change, as long as it's not super drastic. You know, I'm open You're to open to the change. reinterpretation. Yeah, because you know you gotta go with modern times. You, you know, and really and face it, let's let's. I don't know how long it's been since you picked up a comic book, but that fucking Superman last, has fucking terrible for fucking years. And the last oh, no. couple of years, I, I ago, been, he's been kind of shying away somewhat from the the Boy Scout aspect. Right. Well, right. I, and I he's saw, killed before in I, the comic books. I'll see. That's new. I've read the I've read the reboot of Fifty Two. I've read the well, not just in the 50, before Fifty Two. Prime example: the death of Superman. Yeah. Him and Doomsday both killed each other. Yeah, totally. He killed Doomsday. And there was massive amounts of destruction in that book, Yeah, too. exactly. That Superman sure as fuck didn't stop. Exactly. Once again, the so that. Didn't feel right. It just... It, it just it, <laughs> You've got him in the corner. <laughs> yeah, it just... It didn't feel heroic in this movie. I, I just didn't get You know it. what, man? I think killing Solomon is heroic. Uh, and I think that might be part of the point, too. That's when I, what I was talking about in the, the segment we did on Comics Remix. That I feel like everything they did here is a precursor to what's going to come. But once again, we're we're speculating. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. I, I would, and really, I would like to see that. I would like to after seeing this movie, seeing them show it. I hope they do. Mm-hmm. But this one, which is all we have right now, standing as it was, didn't like it. I, I just had a real hard time with it. I, I feel if the, if this were if they never came out with another one after this, which we know that they're going to be doing something. And depending on their script choices and what they want to do, mm-hmm. uh, I, like I said, I feel they took the heart out of this character. I was not uplifted and seeing a better, you know, Superman after this. Like I said, back to Christopher Reeve. Um, it, 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 I understand it's a it's an archaic comparison, maybe, but once again, that's the Superman I want. I want the guy you walk you walk out, you're hopeful, you're happy, you want to you want to be part of that universe. You're like, yes, Superman. And I just didn't get it from this. Now, maybe the next movie... I think it's probably because of the tone, because they went dark. It, it, again, it, it was it all happy-go-lucky, you know? With this, it wasn't like that. You know, at the end of the Superman saved the day, no destruction, whatever, but with Man of Steel, you didn't get that. And I, I think another reason why they didn't overplay Superman doing everything is that I, I feel like they were trying to build up the fact that he is here beside us. Not... He's not trying to put himself better than I us. Won't he's trying to do it for you. I'm going to help you do Right. It. Which is why, like, they had that whole scene with the the Air Force flying the bomb in to take out or that maybe world even a justice thing. thing. You know, Superman can't do everything himself. He needs help. But once again, if they go that route, awesome. But yeah, you are right. We are just speculating. Oh yeah, but that, that's what exactly it. <clears throat> yeah, what else can we that's do? That's exactly it. You know, you know it, it, and, and once again, this I think this is a movie, you're, like we were talking about, you're going to love it, you're going to hate it, you're not going to come out neutral, I don't yeah. think. Uh, and there's and once again, there's different viewpoints. Absolutely. And then you've got the, the everybody getting mad that he killed Zod. You know, but Okay, Zod said it himself. You've got to kill me. I'm Once again, I understand the, the so, dilemma of it. Okay, it's like, let me kill Zod before I let him loose. He may, okay, he destroyed half of Metropolis. What if he goes on to this state and this state and this state and this state? He destroys them all, or I could just take them out now. Once again, I to me, that was just, that's a script choice. It was just too much for you. It, it really was. To me, at From that what point, I understand, it was a Snyder choice. Okay. A Snyder for, and Hoyer. For, for, Nolan didn't want to do it. Okay, for, at, at, like I said, the minute I think you cross that line with that character... And once again, based on history, based on everything else, I think you take the heart of that character away. I think they could have gone any other way with the script choice, but having this character, okay, this this, this character that started it all, this you know, truth, justice, the American way, grab a guy and and you know, I'm going to keep doing it. Okay, got it, and just just snap this dude's neck. I, I I think it was a poor choice, you know. Yeah, that goes back to the Batman argument. With the whole Joker, and I'm going to keep doing. It. I mean, Joker has not, or he has not killed Joker. Right, but and once again, that's the essence of Batman, though. You know, he, like when he's barreling down, he could have killed him, and he said, "He said I can't do it. I'm not crossing that line." And here you have this the, the character that epitomes, "I'm not. I will not go here." Through throughout the history of the character, and once mm-hmm. again, I understand it's a revamp, but that has been 
the line in the sand with that character. I will not do this. And then you put in the script choice to go and take out Zod that way. You've totally kind of you've changed the dynamic of the character. You either like I it or you tell. don't. Yeah, I exactly. Tell. You either like it or you don't. I even appreciated that after he smacked his he snapped his neck, he had the whole ah. Oh, you but know. It was, that was even horrible. Was, that was like a Darth Vader one. Yeah. It was, I mean, like that goes back to the you know, wow, Christopher Reeves with the death of Leslie. Then you go back to this guy, and you're like, oh god, really? It was Vader. No, I, it was it was it was bad. God, that was a horrible scene too. All Frankenstein and shit. Yeah, let's not talk about Star Wars. <laughs> Very, don't worry, they're rebooting. We'll Star see what Wars. happens. Yeah, we're going to have to talk about maybe, that. Maybe they'll do a darker Star Wars. Yeah. <laughs> Jar Jar gets his head cut off. Oh, that would be fucking great. Oh, that's a that's a good script choice. That's a great script choice. Jar Jar. <laughs> Christ. So what did you guys think about Perry White? Indifferent. He was black. He was yeah. black. <laughs> Perry White is black. It's... That's okay. Barry White is. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Barry White is white. Yeah. yeah I was I, like, I, wow, I, Morpheus I, is Barry White. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of weird. No, it was once again. It, I thought the casting was fine. I had no problem whatsoever. Now, yeah, I didn't. I appreciated Amy Adams as Lois Lane. I like Amy Adams. She's cute. She's not, you know, massive forehead Bosworth from Returns. Not the movie had its issues, but it. I. What what I, I said this earlier. We're talking about recently. What movie doesn't have this issue? Well, no, there is not a single movie that comes out. You can show me the fucking perfect movie. They, and all, they, they all have their issues. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah, I, I, I love there. Turtles. I really do. But why the fuck was Raphael in a bathtub? What was that about? Relax, man. I'm just giving you shit. I know. But I'm just saying. No, you know, you're arguing about how... I've been thinking this whole time. You're arguing about how it's not your Superman. Reminds me of an argument I had with my friend John when they did Batman Forever and Batman and Robin. And those movies really fucking pissed me off because that was not my Batman. Mm. But John, who's about 10, 15 years older than I am, that was his Batman. They kind of went back to the camp of the 60s right, the show. And that's what he grew up with. Even in the comics back then, they had the camp. Oh, yeah, for, the, for that time yeah. period. It wasn't until so Frank for, Miller re, kind of rebooted so it. So for him, the, that was Batman. Whereas our Batman is the dark, gritty, you know, the dark detective. The goddamn Batman. The goddamn Batman. <laughs> I love Frank Miller. But uh, it's... I, I liked it. Apparently it's doing well. I mean, critics be damned. And, and once again, if you read the critics, it's mixed too. It is. Junior's right, though. There is... I have not heard anyone middle of the road it. No one has been like, yeah, it was just good. You either love it or you're like, what the fuck? Which, hey man, I like that. <laughs> I like the invoking of such passion with a Superman movie. I never thought that would happen. After Returns... <laughs> Oh, that invoked passion. Is not, <clears throat> After not talk a, of Nicolas Cage being Superman. Is that a good one? Now I actually wanted to see that because I just think it'd be fun. Just, you know, Nicolas but Cage. Lois. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, oh, no. It's no, you, no. You know. it's not, it would have been horrible. <laughs> you sound like Keanu Reeves. Did I? Shit. I can't imagine Keanu Reeves as Superman. That would Dude. Yeah. Dude. 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 From a planet that no longer exists. Right. Get, what? It's like, get the screen stuff away from me, man. It's hurting me. Oh, yep. Keanu Reeves sucks. Hey, Ke- Keanu Reeves plays the best Keanu Reeves. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, okay. No, no, no one else could play Keanu no, Reeves like no Keanu one, Reeves. No one, no one plays a character that has no clue what's going on better than Keanu Reeves. All the movies, it's the same character. So what about? I, I they don't even give, the thing is, they want it so authentic, they don't even give him the script. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they just, just go. Yeah. I, mean, well, I mean, I mean, Bill and Ted. He's a confused guy. Matrix, he's a confused guy. Everybody Point break. Confused. I was confused <laughs> during Matrix. Johnny Mnemonic, he's a confused he's con- guy. Yeah. So, I mean, Constantine, he's confused, he's confused. Not, a, not British guy. That was a fucking yeah. mistake. Constantine. So, how did you guys feel about Zod? Uh, Zod was great. Yeah. Zod was great. I thought, uh, very good. I like, you know, like you said, man, that Russell Crowe as Jarrell, dude, that was some of the best shit in the movie. Yeah. Him, like, beating the shit out of people and getting all, man, Russell Crowe, fighting around the world. Well, and it's my, nice. <laughs> my only issue with Zod, I don't know if you guys noticed it, I don't know if he, Michael Shannon has a lisp or something, yeah, or if he's got like short front teeth, but he's just like, Jarrell, sometimes like, you can see his mouth blow in when he talks. Yeah. It's just a little weird. Did you catch it? I didn't catch that either. Did you catch like, uh, I don't know what the chick's name was. Fiora. Okay, wasn't her name like Ursa? Comic book wise, and I think in the, something in like the that. Donner movies, the originals. Yeah. And then Nan. Did you notice the big, huge Kryptonian dude? Yeah. Hand in Superman his ass that really didn't say anything. Yeah. Was that supposed to be like a nod probably. to Nan? I, I don't know. It was cool. 
kind of had me a little yeah. curious. I totally appreciated Diane, Diane Lane as Ma Khan, though. Oh, she was great. I yeah. love Diane Lane. She was great. Massive fucking crush on Diane Lane since, like, The Outsiders. Wow. Yeah, she's a MILF. Man. She is totally a MILF. But Pa Kent, Kevin Costner. She had the dream, motherfucker. I don't know about all that. Well, once again, you know, not a whole lot of acting, very stoic, very, you know, there, there wasn't any scenes for him to get emotional in. He just Are you serious? Me. I thought he was very just... No scenes for him to get emotional in. No, there were See, scenes for him to get emotional in. There was just no emotional. Yeah, oh, okay, great, okay. Great. You put it that way, yeah, because yeah, he's like, "There's no." Yeah, there was. That's what Clark was. Oh, I just want to be. I just want to be your son. You are my son. And I, I mean, for God's sakes, how much more emotional can you get? When you're about to die. I didn't understand the shit with him. Like when Clark saves those kids in the bus. Yeah. And he's like, "You, you can't do that shit." Yeah. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> so you're telling your son who could pretty much do anything to let a Bust load of kids, let all his friends like, well, die. I'm supposed to let him yeah. die. He's just like maybe. Yeah. You dark bastard. Right? You're right. That movie is too dark. <laughs> well, no. you're pointing out all its flaws to me. Now I'm gonna go home and be like, God damn it! God, God damn the CC! I fucking hate Man of well, Steel. Well, now here, here's a question, Junior. Now that you've heard, you know, both viewpoints, do you? I, I mean, still want to watch it, was, it again. Okay, it was still an enjoyable movie for you. Of course. Okay. Still needed some John Williams, dude. Mm. Oh yeah, the score was kind of weird. I agree. It, it was, was, it was totally missing that yeah. epic. You want to hear a movie with a weak score? World War Z. Yeah. The same song over and over and over and over from beginning credit to the end credit. No. Well, I get whatever. nothing. I get nothing. What ifs? Fucking Man of Steel, baby. That's what it is. I liked it. It was good. I can't wait for the second one. I can't wait for a decent Green Lantern movie. Oh, keep dreaming for that. Or one. Wonder Woman. I for can't that wait one. for this podcast to be over. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, Junior's tapping out. He's like, I've Junior's had enough out. of Superman. I'm done. No moss. I'm in it's a so chokehold. I can't breathe. No moss. Hey, I guess that could wrap it up. So, final thoughts, Man of Steel. I, I, like I said, I didn't enjoy it. I'm not saying it was horrible. I, it just, once again, wasn't the ride I was expecting, and I, I don't like the reboot of the character, or, or at least the method that they're taking, the the, the route that they're going with. But you feel like people should go out and give Warner Brothers their $10? I, I, I don't even know. No. <laughs> what, what, I, you know what, what's it, it wasn't horrible. I didn't want, you know, sit there go, you know, I want my money back. Would you watch it in the theater again? Would I pay to watch it in the theater again? No. Okay. Will you find it when it comes out on DVD? No. Junior? You know me, man. I'll fucking buy the Yeah, I mean, you've already seen it a couple times, haven't you? I've only seen it once. Oh, you've only seen it once? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'll get it on Blu-ray. I liked it. That's a good movie. Good movie, a good, a good movie is a good movie. That's it. Hands down. <clears throat> crap yeah. is crap. Good is good. That's it. I liked it better than Iron Man 3. Well, yeah, that does not count. Yeah. Everyone duh. liked it better. <laughs> <laughs> like, like you said, I may not have liked what they were doing with this movie, but I will acknowledge it was, you know, it, there was a, it was a decent movie. I just didn't care for it. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, Iron Man 3 made me physically I angry. Think, I think you need to go home and watch Superman 3 and Superman 4. I, I don't... I, and again, your respect for I, Man of Steel will probably come up I don't, again. I, 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 once again, I made a smart life choice. I'm going to stick you to did, it. You did. I'll grant you that. So that's uh, issue 12 of the Spinner Act, the Man of Steel special. I'd like to thank our guests. I'm Carrie. CC. CC. Carrie the camera, Ms. Ann. My, my sexy co-host over here is all up on the internet with his charm and good look. That's right. Yeah, see, I, I knew it. All this pubic hair glued to my face made me feel that nice. <laughs> you just got to feed the ego, man. That's all you got to do. I've learned that after 12 issues. I'm Big B. <laughs> Brian Adams. Join us next week for issue 13, where I believe we're going to be talking about God's play. Plug away, my man. Oh, ComicsRemix.com, <laughs> Comics Remix Twitter. This is, we're, Comics Remix is all over the internet. We're on Facebook, Twitter, Gmail, YouTube. Uh, basically, your central hub for it, for everything you need, Comics Remix, is ComicsRemix.com. So and if you have ahead. any questions or hate mail for this show in particular, mm-hmm. go to SpinRack at YMail.com. It is an actual Which email address. Which I guess does exist. Does. It does. I couldn't get a Yahoo. I don't know why. It was, why don't you get a Gmail? It was, I don't know. What the fuck is Gmail? Google. Oh, fuck Google. I bing. Of course you do. <laughs> <laughs> so they're going to make a B-mail? Yeah, totally. I'm going to get it. It's going to be Adams at bmail.com. <laughs> 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 this is you 12. It's better. She sounded like a drunk. <laughs> <boy. laughs> this is your 12. This is your 12. Rack. <laughs> Screw you guys. Join us <laughs> next week. Call me Sonny Neighbor and I don't know. I don't know. Damn. All right, Boomer. <laughs> I was going to say blob. Nice. <laughs>
Oh, now you're just going with the fat jokes. No, that was yeah, from Giggle just, Snort. Just rude. Giggle Snort. Giggle sure. Snort Hotel. When did you become yeah. fucking Sanchez, for yeah. Christ's yeah. sake? Ah, Giggle guy. Snort Hotel, man. <laughs> this fucking guy. Bye. Uh, we'll see you next week. Peace. Out.